Hey guys, so it's 3.30 p.m. right now and I just had lunch. I also like tidying up a few things around the house. Um, and I did go to my internship in the morning. Right now, I just plan on like relaxing and stuff. I want to do a little life update. So I did start my inter internship. I've been there for like two weeks. I must say, there's not much to do there which I'm a bit sad about and like disappointed because like when I was arranging stuff with like the company they were like uh, telling me I was going to do all this stuff and go to all of these places and then like all of a sudden they literally change plans and I go to a place where I'm basically alone all day nobody calls me, nobody tells me what to do so I'm just there like okay, what, am, what the hell am I supposed to do? like on the first week I was so lost and I started to, to, go, to get so depressed that there were days in the morning where I was just like contemplating my life and I was not expecting this to be like this. I feel like I was scammed, but basically I'm basing my work on the requirements for the report I have to write, so that's basically what I'm doing. I'm trying to not let myself get depressed because that's not, that's not going to be good and also it's not worth it because the internship is like not even a month so it's not worth for me to get so down because of that and also I'm in a period where I am struggling a lot with like my professional life or like what I want to do for like a living or a career like what I like, what I don't like, I don't know anything and I, I always thought I was someone that knew what I wanted to do like my entire like middle school, high school, even in uni I was like okay I'm going to do this and then I finished uni and I'm like okay what the hell am I going to do um, like I do like translation but it's really hard to like live of it because there are months at least like from what I've experienced there are months where you don't you don't have work to do um so you cannot live of it i mean you can if you have like a lot of clients but i don't so i cannot live with that so yeah i'm just trying to like try new things and see um what i like like i'm i'm taking this course but i don't even know if i'm going to work in it um if i do that's amazing if i don't we just try to find another thing and I'm just trying to not like be depressed about it. It's not worth it. But yeah, at least the internship is only in the morning and then in the afternoon I can like come home. So um, right now I'm reading the song of Achilles. I did finish uh, Haunting Adeline and it was a five stars. It was like literally amazing. I will never, sh I will never shut up about that book. Like it's so amazing and i mean it's not for everyone i must say but i loved it it's like my favorite book of the year so far this one i'm on chapter 11 i'm about to start it and since i like being depressed um it's been hard for me to read because i just don't have like the mental energy to do it but i've been trying to to read a little bit each day like a chapter at least i'm really enjoying it it's really cute and i'm excited to like see how like the story progresses and i started watching baby reindeer today i've heard a lot of like good things about it on tiktok so i was like really intrigued and i really love like true crime and like dark like stuff um so yeah i was really intrigued and i watched the first episode and i really enjoyed it so I do want to continue, um, so I'll be watching the second episode and yeah, that's basically what I plan on doing today this will be like a very like chill vlog I do have to like start my, re my report for the internship but I'll only like start it tomorrow, I don't feel like doing it today so yeah, that's basically it So I just finished watching Baby Reindeer, I literally like binged it in one go. 
it's only like only seven episodes and the episodes are like 30 minutes 30 minutes each so uh, it's very easy to binge and oh my god like it was fucking insane i like i, I was so shocked the entire time um and yeah it's pretty fucked up and yeah i like audibly gasped almost every episode but like it was so well done like i love this show like it's amazing um like definitely like five stars i really like recommend it to everyone it's like a stalker story but like with a twist because you can like see how like layered the characters are and that like she's not only like yeah she's a stalker but there's more behind that and it talks about a lot of like drama and like self-sabotage and stuff so it's really good like it's a really like it's a masterpiece honestly so yeah i binge that and i'll be reading probably only after dinner until I, like i go to bed so yeah